Hey guys, what is going on? Today, I am so excited because I am here with one of my favorite couples in Tanzania. <laughs> what is up? Hi! Thank you for having me. Yes. Thank you so me. much for coming on my channel. This is a long time interview that I've been wanting to do for a while because, guys, if you don't know who these two, two people are, you need to know. Why don't you guys introduce yourself? Well, who are we? I'm Julius. <laughs> I'm, I'm April. April. Uh, AKA African Dreaming. Um, small little YouTube channel and uh, just a couple living here in Tanzania. Yep, just showing you our life and just the things we do on the daily, cooking. Gardening, gardening, farming, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Check us out. Yep. Absolutely. I'm gonna put all of the information in the description below. I want to kind of get into your journey here in Tanzania. First of all, I want to know why did you guys choose Tanzania? You want to take this? Go ahead. Um, for a couple of reasons. One reason was. Uh, the connections that we had, the relationships that we already had before we got here mm -hmm. with our good Tanzanian friend from back in the States. So that combined with the opportunities that we saw available here, um, the structure of the country, and uh, we just felt like it would be a good fit for us. Yeah. So, yeah. And what made you fall in love with Tanzania once you already got here? Oh, wow. Uh, a couple of things. Yeah. <laughs> you want to take Yeah, this? the people. Um, just amazing people. We met amazing people. You're one of amazing people. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, a lot of locals here that treat us like family. Um, yeah. Just, you know, being around all these beautiful people that welcome us. We feel very welcome and at home here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one reason. Um, the weather. The weather's nice. Right now, it's, it's a little overcast. But that's okay. Yeah. You know, but it's... been starting to get yeah. cool here lately, often, yeah. especially at night. Yeah, it's pleasant. It's pleasant yeah. weather. It's not too hot, not too cold, you know. Yeah. Um, what else? It's one of my favorite things about Arusha. Um, I feel like a lot of people come here and they go to Dar, and I'm not hating on y'all in Dar. <laughs> um, but I just feel like one of the really things that I love here in Arusha is the fact that the seasons are different. So you have some cold season, you got right. some rainy season, you got some hot season. You kind of have a little bit of everything. Yes. Right. Versus like Dar that's just hot all day. And that, I, it's really hard for me. Like, I like the cold. I love going I love it too. here in the rain. Right. It's yep. so beautiful. Yep. Yes. Yep. I, I Absolutely Peaceful. love it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. So you guys are from Texas, right? Yes. Born and raised. And yeah. what is the main difference? Do you see any similarities between Texas and Tanzania? And what are some things that you've had to adjust to being here? Hmm. Lots of That's similarities. Lots of similarities. Yeah. Uh, I think the thing I like the most is like the animals, the the yeah. agriculture, the mm. the farming here, mm. the um. The goats and the yes. cows and the sheep <laughs> everywhere. Like, I love that part of yeah, it. Yeah, it reminds me of like driving down Texas Road. Yes. You know, you yeah, see, very you much. Know, the cows out in the pastures and all that. And it, it really reminds us of home. Yeah. It really and, does. And the here. stuff growing everywhere. Yeah. I, I've never yeah. been to Texas, but I've always imagined, like, when I came here, <laughs> But like we'll stop in traffic because the goats are going by. I've mm -hmm. always imagined Texas yeah. to be like that, like the goats going by, <laughs> people on horses. <laughs> you know, like, that's always what I imagine. So right? I can see how there could be similarities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest adjustment that you've had to have coming out here? Mm. It's a couple of things, yeah. but okay. one particular is definitely going to be uh, Learning the language yeah, yes. most definitely. and adjusting to the language. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. language barrier. Yes. It could be complicated yeah. sometimes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we learn it. We practice right. and we just Absolutely. with each other. And people other. are very, very willing to teach you. Yes. Yes. They're very willing Absolutely. to teach you. Yes. And if they see that you're trying, they, they smile and they're yes. happy. It's like, mm -hmm. okay, you're trying. Your key Swahili is improving. And sometimes improving. they'll even joke. And I think that some, some people may take offense to that. Mm -hmm. But it's because, you know, I always look at it like, think about it when you have somebody who comes to America and they're trying to learn English, mm -hmm. and they'll say some words, and, and you'll laugh not because you think it's funny, but you think it's cute. Like, right. Right. look at the way you said that. That's right. so right. cute. Right. And I feel like that's one of the things that I've had to adjust to, even with yeah. my husband. Yeah. Like, he be... I, you know, he'll correct my keys like he do sometimes and stuff like that, but he'll crack up laughing before. And I've been with you right. before. I did that wrong. <laughs> like, at least and I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, 
you know, it's like they look at it as like, oh, cute. Like you're trying. And right. Like, it right, means right. so much to them when you try. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And I highly recommend anybody who is coming out here, you know, start practicing your key Swahili back when you're in the States. Most so definitely. So that way when you come out here, it might be a little easier for you, you know, like definitely yeah. because the language barrier is a huge thing. And you can't just be coming up in here with an attitude that like, oh, they need to learn English. Right. Because like, remember, baby, you come in here. Exactly. Right. You know, you, right. you, you right. come in That's here. True. Right. Like, you That's true. That's real. That's real. You know, and that, that even goes for me because I got to get better on my key Swahili as well. Yeah. We all do. And it's, yeah. it's, we it's all a do. priority for me. And, yeah. you know, do what you do, what you have to do mm -hmm. to be able to migrate and, and adjust as smoothly as possible. Right. And that's right. one of the best things you can do for yourself mm -hmm. is yes. learn key Swahili as much as possible. Yeah. You're doing yourself a huge favor. So yes. I agree yeah. with that 100%. Yeah. One of the things that I love about you guys' channel, first of all, guys, their channel has inspired. Remember I told you guys that I have a hobby of gardening now? It's because <laughs> I saw y'all video, and I was like, if they can do it, Thank I you. can do it. That's Thank right. you, and that's the whole point. And y'all made it seem so simple. Like, the way that, the, especially the way you guys talk about it, and the way you showed the growth, it was the pineapple video. Yeah. And I have no idea that you can just grow <laughs> pineapple from a pineapple. I mean, I know that probably makes sense, but I'm right. New Yorker. We don't right. do things like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't do things like that. So when I seen y'all video and y'all just, it was so simple. Y'all didn't complicate it. Y'all didn't, you know, I didn't feel like I was in like an environmental class. Like, it was so simple. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I can't do it. Like, for real, y'all inspired me. And now I got Thank a little garden. Yeah, I got yeah. a little garden she now. Does. Yes. She does. She nice. does. Yeah. Yes. And it's all because of y'all. I remember. Thank you. I, I told my husband, I, watched, I had my husband watch the video. I was like, I think we can do pineapple. Look how simple they did it. We can yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. And it yeah. was so inspiring. Thank you. Like, Thank you. It's so inspiring. That, that's the whole point. Right. Um, it, it, when we showing these different aspects and parts mm -hmm. of our life, it's to show people that if we could do it, Absolutely. they mm -hmm. can do it. You can do it. So, I mean, it's, it's, uh, I'm glad you found it simple. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah. And we really do appreciate you having us. Um, but, yeah, pineapples, you, you, whatever you want to throw out in your garden, mm -hmm. Just throw it out there just and see what happens. There. Yeah. There's just so put, many different techniques yeah. and and ways to grow things. You'll find mm -hmm. one that works for you. Yeah. You Absolutely. know, and you know, everybody needs to be able to grow their own food and be able to feed themselves. So yeah. something yeah. happens, you can go out to your garden and get you something and you can eat that day. And that's right. important. Absolutely. Everybody should be able to grow their own food. And it's therapeutic too. Yes. Oh yes. It's oh yes, it absolutely is. And I think one of the things that drew me to you guys channel and not shade to anybody else but like you know we tend to have a lot of content creators here in tanzania or just overall in africa where um it's kind of the same content mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I really love about you guys' content is, guys, they throw food out there. <laughs> they talking about their experience. They talking about gardening. All these other things that, like, I feel like you don't really see uh -huh. and that are so important. Mm -hmm. Because the reality of the truth is, is that a lot of people here on the continent grow their own food. Mm -hmm. yes. A lot of people on the continent, you know, um, eat locally. Absolutely. I saw your video yesterday where you was out there showing people how you eat locally. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, those are the things that are the real, true Tanzanian experience that I mm -hmm. feel like um, a lot of us, even myself, don't really put out there because it's not something that maybe we don't think of or maybe it's just too much work, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> <laughs> and you right. guys do that, so it's kind <clears throat> of like a... Um, a fresh breath of air. Oh, yeah. wow. Thank we you. really appreciate you know? that. I love that. And we really appreciate I wish you guys that. much success. Thank, Thank you. you. I have a question. Yeah. Okay. For anybody who's watching this and wants to come out here in your shoes, mm -hmm. what advice would you give them? Uh, um, I would say that. make friends with someone local here. Yeah. Talk with them. Get to know them because they, they're going to be your plug. Yeah. They're going to be the ones that can show you around. They know the lay of the land. They know who to talk to about this if you need this and that if you need that. So I would make friends with the locals. And most that's definitely. so refreshing to hear because mm -hmm. there's a misconception out there that like all local people try to rip you off. And it's just not true. It's not that's true. Not true. It's that's not true. That's not true. They, they can be your best friend. Yes. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Treat people how you want to be treated. Absolutely. That's a golden yeah. rule. That's yes. a golden rule. Yes. Treat people how you want to be treated in that regard. Um, 
No place is perfect. No place is perfect. You, every place that I've ever been on this planet, you have good people and you have bad people. Absolutely. Our experience has been that the majority of our uh, encounters have luckily, I, I feel like we super blessed because they've been with good people. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, we try to keep that energy and, and, and uh, that's what mostly comes back. I mean, we've had some, some uh, situations here or there, but it's all about how you choose to address mm -hmm. whatever <laughs> situation you encountered. I mean, you mm -hmm. could completely go off yeah. or you could say, okay, I don't like what that person did. Right. What was my part in it? Mm -hmm. And then keep it moving. Mm -hmm. or, or, or right. Or just, you know, it's, it's yeah. kind of that simple. And to the other part of and your you question. Learn exactly. You learn from it. You learn Absolutely. from it. Absolutely. Guys, it's a learning experience. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. a learning experience. And I just wanted to piggyback on that. Yeah. Because I also think a biggest thing is when you see YouTubers like us or something like that, don't try to channel the same exact experience because all of our journeys are different. Oh, completely. And I think that yes. that's yes. what people get wrong is that they want to have the same exact experience experiences you or say you know what why is my experience different mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. you guys why is my experience different from Jules on the run and stuff like that you have to understand you have to go on your own journey right. absolutely you have to right. go on your own journey and learn from your own mistakes we have made mistakes mm -hmm. absolutely us even, too even <laughs> yeah I've definitely made mistakes even yeah. I, I've 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 talked about it on my channel i've spread the bad the good and all that mm -hmm. stuff i've talked about you know my situation in immigration how i hired somebody off the street and i mm -hmm. got ripped off yeah but i had to take that out because i was like i shouldn't have hired somebody off the street right that's my <laughs> right well, you... i'm gonna get me out of here right you know right, right, right 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 but you have I'm to not take... gonna do it again yeah. No, I'm just gonna have to suck it up and be there all day at immigration. Absolutely. But I, you know, I was being lazy. I was trying to stay home while uh -huh. you know everything was getting done, right. and uh -huh. I got got. You know, it happens. It, it happens. It happens. It happens in yep. New York. Mm -hmm. it, happens it happens in, in Texas. Texas. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it happens everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. I took it as a learning experience and was like, okay, I know better. Mm -hmm. I know better mm -hmm. next time. Now I've learned my lesson. Yep. And I take full accountability for it right. because I know that I was trying to go the quick way out. Mm -hmm. right. And that's just the truth. That's just yeah. reality. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and I feel like a lot of times we tend to blame other people because it's easier rather than saying, you know what, I messed up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. again, it can happen everywhere. It can happen, it can happen everywhere. everywhere. And you yeah. have to take chances on people. You have to you mm -hmm. have to try. And then if it doesn't work out, you you know, you take that L, not yeah. not a loss. You take you learn the lesson. Right. Absolutely. And and you move on from it and you try to do better next time. But you have to give people a chance. You have right. to try. So, right. I you know. agree. And what's the point of coming here if you don't trust anybody? Right. Oh, that's right. how do you even do that? You're gonna have a bad time here. How do you <laughs> have yeah. a bad time yeah. here? Yeah. 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 Like you are right. numbered out. Right. right. <laughs> exactly. And you are 100%. It ain't no way around it. Right. So, <laughs> so you, yeah. yeah, and that's the most beautiful part of the experience for me personally. And I know, you know, we, we similar on this, babe. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you get with uh, with locals, um, it's just, I couldn't imagine myself, us coming here and not wanting to completely indulge in the experience right. of, of, of being with local it's people. Yeah. yeah, and one of my favorite things about the locals is you learn all of the stuff that's not on Google. Right. Mm -hmm. Completely not on Google. Fact. The foods, the places that you go, you'll find places that, you know, a lot of people come here and they're like, oh my God, I spend so much money and all of this stuff. It's because y'all going to the tourist spots. Right. Y'all mm -hmm. going to the tourist restaurants. Mm -hmm. Y'all, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I remember one of the um one of the places that hope had took me it was a local spot mm -hmm. we sat there we had two whole chickens and he had some lamb yeah we spent less than ten dollars yeah that yes. whole meal. it's possible it you is know what i'm saying it's, it's possible. possible but if you and and we've gone to some fancy tourist restaurants where right. we've spent 50 60 dollars mm -hmm. you know so it's a lot of places that are online that people are going to that that Google is going to tell you about, but right. it's going to be those you know high tourist spots. Mm -hmm. But locals, they could put you onto spots where you can eat good, oh, right? Yeah. For yeah. Right. less than a dollar. Yes. Right. You know and what you, I'm saying? Yes. You, you would never know about. It. I've been never to so many places it. that's been down this road that way, mm -hmm. and then back around this tree over here, and then next thing yeah. you know, you had a little mom and pop joint with yeah. some mm -hmm. of the best food you've never had in your life. Yeah. Yep. So, best food you'll yeah. ever have. For real. What? Some of yeah. the best food you ever have. Even like when I go get my hair done, I remember I had told the woman who did my hair, I get my hair done locally. 
And um, cause she's the only person who know how to, you know, wash and blow my hair the way I like it. Right. <laughs> and um, I remember her. I remember me telling her like, "Hey, like I'm hungry, cause y'all I was pregnant." And I was like, "I gotta eat." And she was like, <laughs> "Okay, no problem." She literally went to a spot that was a real local spot. I got some rice and beans with some cuckoo and some vegetables. I spent like two dollars on it, and it was mm -hmm. the best rice and beans that I, I ever know. had nice. locally. Yes. Nice. Yes. Completely locally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spot yeah. that you're not gonna find on Google. Spot that you're not gonna find. On Instagram, spot that you're not gonna find on the internet advertisement. Right. But it's somebody's grandmother. It's somebody mm -hmm. who uh -huh. knows a local family uh -huh. business. And it feels good to be able to support. That's what I was yes. about to say. Yes. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. these tourism restaurants, they're not, most of them are not owned by local Tanzanian people. True. Facts. True. Most of yes. them. Right. Some of them. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it feels good that you're able to, yeah, throw in another cuckoo in there so I can spend more money and mm -hmm. you know, I can eat mm -hmm. real good. Right. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You don't got to be so picky and stuff like that because you know you can ball out and support somebody locally. Exactly. You exactly. You understand what I'm saying? So where can people find you if they're like, oh my God, we love this couple. We want to follow their journey. <laughs> Uh, so we're on YouTube, African Dreaming. We are on TikTok, um, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. And all African yeah, Dreaming. All African A -F -R -I -K -A -N -D -R -E -A -M -I -N. Dreaming. A F R I K A N D R E A M I N. Just, yes. you know, so you won't be looking everywhere and can't find us. So. <laughs> yeah, and I'm also going to put it below. On oh, the that's right. Thank you. So they'll be able to just click on it and it should be very easy for them as well. Yes. Okay, nice. Yes. Thank you. So Thank you. what is some last advice that you have to offer people? Um, I would say definitely, like, don't be afraid to do it. Yes. Don't be afraid to do it. Don't, don't be as, uh, afraid to step out on faith, mm -hmm. take a chance, see where it goes, because... Um, Sometimes it's about the experience more than anything Absolutely. else. And you can have all of these great ideas, all these great notions, yeah. but if you don't bring it to fruition by putting it into action, I mean, then all you're doing is, is uh, dreaming. Dreaming. Right. <laughs> That's right. what you do with dreaming. That's it. And African like, dreaming. Africa. <laughs> I, nice plug. <laughs> nice plug. And like, if you, even if it doesn't work out for you, it is. Oh, I've told you guys so many times. It is okay if it doesn't work out for you. Absolutely. At least you've tried. Right. right. You know right. what I'm saying? You won't know. Mm -hmm. You don't even know what the other air smells like. Right. By the way, it smells good. Right. Okay. You right. Know what I'm saying? Right. You won't even know. You know if. It will take you somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Absolutely. You don't know if you are at your. Minimum, you know, mm -hmm. saying, your maximum, whatever. Right. Like, at, if you're at your peak, mm -hmm. until you try. Right. Right. You know right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and even if it's not just Tanzania, Anywhere. by giving yourself yeah. a shot to explore the world, mm -hmm. explore other countries, uh, it, it could end up being being Mali. Mm -hmm. It could end up being uh, South Africa. It could mm -hmm. end up being any any country on this continent. But you'll never know if you don't. Step yeah. out on faith Open and make that move. Open yourself up to it and be yourself. That's be your it. true self. We hear that a lot. Because people gravitate towards that when you're when you're yourself. Now, mm -hmm. don't don't put on a fake front. Don't try yeah. to be something you feel like everybody wants you to be. Be yourself and be Absolutely. happy. Try to find your happiness yeah. wherever you can find it. Because well life said, is babe. short, mm -hmm. and um, everybody deserves to be happy. Yeah, Absolutely. and that's something we've always appreciated about your channel mm -hmm. and your content because you know love you or not love you, you've always been you. Be yep. You've always been <laughs> you, 100%. Like you, some folks don't like you, oh, what it? you do? Yep. Hey, if everybody got love for you, you doing something wrong. Yeah, it's so, true. It's true, yeah. and that's just how it is, you know, because for me, I don't fake the fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really, I'm not here for you to like me or for you not to like me. I'm here to tell you the truth. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? And then you can, you can take it how you want to take it. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And right. I'm, my personality is my personality on camera, off camera. That's just, that's just what it is. You it know really what I'm saying? Is. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to just like, even if you may not like everything that I say, at least listen to some. Mm -hmm. Because I can't tell you how many times people have said to me like, wow, what you've said, I've seen it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even though mm -hmm. people be like, I didn't like that. Like, whenever I start talking about how some folks can act when they come out here on the continent and stuff like mm -hmm. that, they're like, oh, my God, Diamond, I've seen it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they don't like the fact that I talked about it. Right. You understand what right. I'm saying? Right. And 
that's just we have to be honest with each other because if we're honest with each other then we can do better exactly. sometimes we do things that we don't even realize right. I've had friends come to me and check me like hey you said something out of pocket and I'd be like oh wow I didn't even realize right like, Right. I didn't even realize it. Now I learned from that. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And if you're learning, you're growing. Right. Absolutely. But you're open to hear that, too. You have to be open yeah. to hear it. If someone tells you something they don't like, don't get offended. Yeah. Like, listen to that person and actually see what they're saying. And then if you can, you know, correct it or you, oh, I didn't realize I was wrong. Yeah. And, you know, you can do that and, and move on and, and that's still have great relationships. Part. Yeah. That's yeah. a huge part for being on the continent. You have to be willing to learn mm -hmm. and willing to even change your mindset, even willing to grow. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to. Because you can't have the same mindset you had over there. Here. No, you right. can't. It ain't going to take you nowhere. Right. It's, it's, it's going, it's you're going to have a hard time. You're going to yeah. have a hard yeah. time. You're going to have such a hard time. And and that's something else that um, I guess it wasn't on purpose, but it worked out for us with, with our channel. And we appreciate you, you acknowledging like how we kind of we just every we doing everything. We just showing us being us, and uh, you know we just being country in another country. I love that. But, <laughs> well, <laughs> but the the thing is, thank you. The thing is, um, I, I've noticed a lot of people who who are diasporans mostly from wherever they they derive from have a lot of expectations. Mm -hmm. And you, it's okay. I mean, of course, you should expect something. If you go to another place, you should have expectations of that place. But I've just seen some 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 real phenomenal um, expectations yeah. of, from people who who uh, have relocated, and I mean, people entitled to feel how they feel and expect right. what they want to expect. But what I'm really trying to say is, uh, you asked about what advice we would have: be measured, mm. be prepared, be uh, anticipate what you can't even imagine. Right, be prepared for the unknown. For the, uh, yes. Thank you for the yes. unknown. Be because you, you, can, you, you can do research, you can do this, I mm -hmm. promise you, when you get here, you will encounter some things that you didn't even think you about. Didn't you didn't plan for. Want, yeah. That you didn't plan, right. didn't plan for, so, yeah. Where there's expectations, there's failure. Absolutely, mm -hmm. you know, absolutely. And, 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 disappointment. Think, and disappointment. And disappointment. Yeah. And I think that keeping an open mind will take you very far. Absolutely. That's true. Because Absolutely. let me tell you yeah. something. The unknown doesn't have to be bad. No. Absolutely. The unknown can be great. Yes. See, you uh, right now you make me want to do one of them Love Jones snaps. You know hey. how they do Yeah, one of them. <laughs> one of them drums right there, man. For real, because that's truth. That's the truth. You, yeah. It, yeah. it just is. Mm -hmm. Like embrace the unknown, cause embrace you can you can have a beautiful experience. Mm -hmm. You know, it's waiting for you. It's waiting for Perception you. Perception is everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my wife. I love her to death, but as much as we have in common, we can look at one thing and we see two completely different, different things. things. Yep. Perception is everything. So if you come with uh, an open mind, an open heart, uh, ready to learn, ready to to, to embrace this new space you're in, yeah. then you'll probably thrive in it, or you'll be yeah. more likely to thrive in it yeah. versus if, if, if you, um, I don't want to say have a negative approach to it, but if you, if you see the worst if in everything, fight, against it. fight mm -hmm. again, yeah. Fight against it. Right. Like I can say, and I think we'll end it here, is what has Africa taken out of you? Let me start. What Africa has taken out of me is, is made me a calmer person. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I know y'all can see, y'all go back to my early videos. <laughs> I was very New York, I was very antsy, very like loud and. Eh, <laughs> y'all, <Yeah. laughs> I've changed. I'm such a calm person because right. I realize I don't have to be so defensive. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be so ready to pop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't have to be so just angry. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't gotta be like that. I can right. live life calmly, yes. peacefully, happily. Mm -hmm. Africa has showed me what happiness is. Yes, absolutely. Exactly. That's me now. Yeah, that, yeah, right? That's good. For that's good. me, I would say my stress levels has gone way mm -hmm. down yeah. since I've been here. And I've been able to just tap into some things I haven't done in a while, just mm -hmm. be creative. Because before I was working so much working, and I, it was, there's things I love to do, but I just never had time to do it. Right. And now I'm here, I'm still, mm -hmm. I'm at peace. 
stress levels are down. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. And I can focus on those things that make me happy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Instead of the things I had to do to make right. sure we to make a living. Right. right. You know, like right. being in that rat race. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And like being doing the videos. Now I I enjoy it. We're yeah. having fun doing it. We're mm-hmm. being able to tap into that creativity that I haven't that that I had to put aside because I had to be a responsible person. Right. Twenty four seven. Yeah. Twenty four seven. So I the stress levels free and I I can. I can I can be me and be creative and and find my happiness. So nice, that's babe. me. Nice, yeah. Babe. Uh, for me, um, almost verbatim what she said, right? But with with one more little caveat threw in, um, I've learned a lot about me, myself, uh, even with us trying. Uh, 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 having a business, it requires work, but it's not the same work the way that it is back in America. Um, and I've also learned, through learning more about myself, I've learned more about other people. And just the, as we as we rapping, I've realized that I think sometimes peace bores the hell out of people. Mm. Mm. I think peace bore the hell out of people. So when some when people. You, some people, yeah. some people, <laughs> yeah. some people. I love my peace. Exactly. I do too. And when you when you when you sit in that peace and you sit in that calm and you you might have some deep conversations with yourself mm. you ain't had with yourself since I've been here. Uh, uh, the time to reflect, uh, the time to be still. Um, I'm going back to you asking about advice. That's something else. You you gonna get to know yourself over here. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you will get to know yourself. So, oh, yeah. yeah. That's it for me. Um, peace, reflection, learning more about myself, um, and knowing that sometimes it's okay to uh, to be okay. Yeah. Sometimes you go through. I've went through a period of growth where I had to accept the fact, man, it's all right for you to be okay yeah. with being okay. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Mm. To not be stressed all day, every day, mm-hmm. and um, it's almost like a weird self-forgiveness. I was say, sometimes it's weird. Yeah. And sometimes you feel guilty about yes. it. Yes. Like, oh yes. Oh my God, I'm at so much peace and I'm so happy and all of this stuff. And you wish you could just start grabbing your brothers and sisters and everybody mm-hmm. from the states and stuff, but not everybody's gonna be on the same wavelength. Right. Absolutely. You know what right. I'm saying? And like you said, some people are just. Bored mm-hmm. with peace. With peace. It, yes. drive, it, it drive them crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When it you drive used, them crazy. Yes. When you used to chaos and you, yeah. you when you when your environment is constant chaos, you learn how to thrive and adapt mm-hmm. in chaos. Absolutely. And then when that chaos is absent your life, well hey, you You don't know what to you do. You don't know what to do with yourself. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, and one of the biggest yeah. things about human beings is human beings, one of the special skills that we have is we can adapt to different environments. Mm-hmm. So if you're sitting there thinking right now, like, oh, my God, maybe I can't. Maybe, you know, just try to find any excuse for you not to come out here or for you to feel that you can't. Give it a try. Because right. maybe you can. Because we are very, we are a very adaptable species. Very mm-hmm. adaptable species. And if we can do it, we regular folks. Right, if, right. If we can do it, you can do it, guys. Absolutely. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so much. Please go check them out. You will learn a lot of tips and tricks. And their channel is amazing. Help them grow. Show them love. And I will see you guys so soon. Bye. Peace. Peace.